went to Hawaii for Thanksgiving. We just kind of went around and did a bunch of touristy things. And then our very last day, we decided we wanted to go surfing. And it was actually my sister's birthday present to go surfing because she really wanted to. So me, my sister, and my mom all went out and did surfing. And um, we had about a two-hour lesson. And it was about the last half hour that my back started to hurt a little bit. And then it wasn't until I actually got out of the water and was trying to walk up to the beach that my back or that my legs started to feel really funny. Basically, they felt like I just um, like they'd fallen asleep or they were kind of numb and a little bit tingly. And I could walk on them fine for a while, and then I was walking back to the car and was walking about 50 feet up the beach, and I just kind of collapsed. From there, we went to the hospital, and um, I was in the hospital. We were on the Big Island of Hawaii, and I, that night I was flown to Honolulu. And then I stayed in Honolulu for about five days. And then from there, I was flown to Craig Hospital in Denver. It was kind of weird, um, because when I first got to the hospital in, in, on the Big Island, they told me that I might be out in two hours, because they really had no idea what was going on. So they said, it might be two hours, it might be a little longer. They really didn't know. So I was kind of just like, oh, OK, you know, we'll be out. It's just a kind of a short little thing. But the whole way to the hospital, I was losing sensation and movement in my legs. And so I was kind of, it was freaking me out. It's called surfer's myelopathy. And basically what happened is when I was laying on the surfboard, I hyperextended my back. And so I arched it too much when I was propping up or when I was pushing up or something. And so I cut off the blood supply to my spinal cord. I'm, I'm able to move my toes and I can actually, I can um, tighten my quad muscles in my legs and I can kind of kick them out a little bit. And that just happened over this last week. The whole time I've had sensation in my legs and I've been able to feel, although some of that has come back. It wasn't full sensation at first, and now it's still not normal, but I can, I can feel if you're touching and things like that. And so, yeah, the movement's coming back, too. Some people who have surface myelopathy recover very quickly. Some people don't recover at all. So it just it totally depends on what my body wants to do and looks like it's trying to return. It definitely is frustrating at times just because your body doesn't do what it used to do. And... Um, it, I've gotten a lot more used to, you know, moving my legs with my arms and transferring and, you know, doing things like that. So it's not, it's not as big a deal as it was. I think the hardest thing was moving from the hospital to the house because I got back home two weeks ago. And when you're in the hospital, everyone's there and everyone knows exactly what you're doing and know exactly how to help you. And then when you get home and you have stairs in your house and things like that, it's just a lot more difficult to plan everything out. Oh, it was, it was wonderful. I know the prayers are working because things are starting to come back. And it just, I mean, I would get the emails about um, the different masses that were being said and the prayers, and it was just wonderful to see that there was so much support. Because I know if I'd gone to a bigger school, some people would have heard about it. You know, my friends wouldn't know about it, but, you know, the whole school wouldn't know. And I know, I think being on such a small campus and such a, like, a, a family-oriented campus really helped because everyone kind of knows about it and everyone's been praying. And I just want to thank everyone because it's been so wonderful. I've heard from the Bible team. They, they sent me smiley face cookies and they, they all made a bunch of cards and they've all been really supportive and wonderful too. I know they've all gotten the emails and I actually, I was able to meet with one of the, one of the players when I was in Craig. She came up to see me and she just said that it's, it was like a shock for her to just hear about it, which I mean it was for everyone because it's so bizarre. I would love to come back to BC. That's what I'm planning on. Um, it's going to definitely be a challenge, but if, if, I'm, if I'm still in the wheelchair, it will be a big challenge. If I'm not, there's no problems. But So yeah, I'm definitely hoping to come back next fall. I decided that if I wasn't positive, it would be much more difficult. It would be harder for everybody else. So if I was positive, it would, it would help me recover, definitely, because I've heard that positive attitude definitely helps that. And I mean, if I was just negative about it and complaining, it, I, it would be so much harder. I probably wouldn't be where I am now. And it, I think positive is just the best way to be because if you're not positive about it, if you don't try to make the best of what you have, then you're just going to have a miserable life. Thank you for all the prayers, for everything you've done, because it's definitely helping, and I know it's just going to keep getting better.